Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Inman again. Um, welcome to our first week of our Learning From Home kickoff. I'm going to start with a circle time and then I will be attaching some other links and videos to the email that you can look at throughout the week. And then I hope to have a Zoom call ready at the end of the week that we can all join in and kind of share some of the things that you've been working on. So let's start with our hello song so everybody can help me sing. Hello, hello to you and you and you. Hello, hello to you and you and you. A big hello, a small hello, a high hello and a low hello. Hello, hello to you and you and you. All right, and now we're gonna pray. Good morning, dear God, this day is for you, so we ask you to bless all we think, say, and do. Amen. All right, this week we are going to focus on two letters. This is the letter U, and U is a curvy line, capital U, and lowercase u. We're also going to talk about the letter V, and V is two straight lines. Straight line down and up. Straight line down and up. Capital V, lowercase v. Hopefully you can see that okay. Um, so those are our letters that are a focus for the week. So you can be looking for those letters throughout your house. Um, I'm also going to have a couple of links to our letter U and V um, alphabet books that you can look at throughout the week as well. But our story to get us started for the week that I want to read with you is The Very Hungry Caterpillar. V is for very. So we're going to read our story about The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. See the egg? There it is. One sunny, one Sunday morning, the warm sun came up, and pop, out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. And here he is. And here's the food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. But he was still hungry. Oh my goodness. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf and after that he felt much better. Now he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and 
Fluffy was a beautiful butterfly. The end. I hope you all enjoyed that story. That's one of my favorites. Um, I'm also going to include an activity of an art project where we will paint our own caterpillars. So if you have paints at home and some very basic materials, um, I will show you how to do that in another video. Um, if you don't have paint, you could even use crayons and draw your own caterpillar, whatever um, you would like to do. And hopefully on Friday, during our Zoom call, we will share some of our pictures that we made. So I hope you all have a great week. Um, check out the links that are included in the email, and I hope you guys have fun. We'll uh, see you hopefully on Friday. Thanks. Bye-bye.